lines, you want it to be a nice crisp line, 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 not mountain line, like roar, or like roar, or like not that look, not like that, like another mountain. The skyline of the mountain, the horizon, if you will, of that mountain range needs to be nice and crisp, 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 crisp. It needs to be a crisp mountain range. And also in a slightly darker blue, not the darkest blue you have, but darker than the background. So as the mountains come into the foreground, they... opening and closing. 
Um, and, it, and it gets progressively wider the further down the page you go. Uh, down the trunk, so the base of the trunk, the very base, the bottom of the trunk is the widest part of the tree. And the dip, 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 dip top of the tree is the thinnest part of the tree. For these particular trees, other trees don't work like that. Gum trees, for example, are quite wide in the middle, slightly less wide. Okay. 
Let's see you, baby.